Hello, it's Mr. Omara here and I want to tell you how to make a line graph. A line graph is very useful for representing how a value of something changes over a period of time. It wouldn't be a good way, say, to compare, to compare test scores in a class, but it might be a way to check you, to test your percentage scores over time so that you can see a trend. And the data I'm going to use for this is the average monthly temperatures in Ballarat. And I figure, figure Ballarat's good because it's, um, it's interesting because it's a bit cold. So the program that I'm going to use is Excel, which I'll just um, actually have open in the background, as you can see. So I need some data. So I've Googled Ballarat monthly weather averages. You will probably pick somewhere different. In fact, I would like you to pick somewhere different. So here it is. I have the mean maximum temperature Celsius and the minimum maximum, sorry, the mean minimum temperature degrees Celsius. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the months of the year here. I choose that, I hit Control C to copy and I go across to Excel and I'm putting them there and you'll notice I'm leaving column A free. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those monthly values underneath. Now you need to be a bit careful with this. So I've copied that. Now I'm going to select those rows. So it will know I had 12 values, 12 rows, so it will just put them in easily. That would also work if you just select it on the first box, but it can sometimes take a little bit longer. And then I'm going to select the next lot, and as you see I nearly made a mistake there, I nearly selected the, um, the annual and let's see, oh that went in nice and quickly didn't it? I'm actually going to make my A box a bit bigger because I want to see my labels nice and clearly. So then I'm going to go back and copy that. Well that's proving to be a little bit difficult to copy actually. So I'll go back and in actual fact I know it's mean maximum temperature. So mean means average, maximum um, I'm going to put brackets C for centigrade and mean, oh that's unfortunately changed that to um, to copyright min minimum Celsius I can't help the feeling that I might be spelling Celsius wrong there, I'll just go and check that in a tick actually um, not copyright but Celsius so yeah, I definitely spelt that wrong I've spooked myself now by wondering about it. Okay, so there is my data in Excel. While I'm at it, let's go and have a quick look and check that I really did um, spell it right. That doesn't tell me. I'll just open another tab. Celsius. Did I spell it right? Do I mean... Ah, oh, I didn't. S-C-E-L-S-I-U-S. -S -S. There you go. This is the time to know that. So, no wonder it looked wrong. There we go. It's a funny looking word, that one. So, I've got my values. I'm going to select everything. The months, the tags, the data, everything. Go up to the top. Insert. Now, recommended charts. I'm going to start at recommended charts. Well, actually, you know what? I might just go for li line charts. And I'm going to pick that first one. And as you can see, I now have a chart there, which I'm going to make a bit bigger so that you can get a better look at it. There it is. That's probably a bit big, actually. Why don't I must make it smaller? I've overdone it. So there's my chart. And up there's my data. I'm going to have a look at what elements I have on my chart. So. I have my axes, yes, I have that there. I don't have axes titles, and I would like those. So, as you can see, I'm turning on axes titles, and I can set up and down bars, and the good thing about up and down bars is that you see what the gap is between minimum and maximum, and with those on, you can see there's a much bigger gap between minimum and maximum in summer. Um, but, you know, we won't do that for now. But we have got our titles. So I'm gonna go through and change that title, this, in fact, here is, I'll just double click on that so that I can edit it. So that is months. Now that's fairly obvious, but it won't also always be obvious. And this one is degrees. 
cell C plus Celsius. So what I have there so far is a nice clear graph. Oh, I haven't changed my title. I'll click on that. And my title is, of course, Ballarat Temperature Averages. Actually, I won't say averages because, in fact, it's mean. Not average, although they do mean the same thing. So, there it is. And, in fact, what I can also do is have a look at what the different types of chart. It actually gives me some presets, so I can use that one there. I actually quite like this one here. That's nice and clear. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to stick with that one there. I might drag my chart across a bit, just so that it's a little bit larger. It shows my data a bit better. And now I can save that, or I can paste it into a Word document or a PowerPoint. But I've got... tells me what the lines mean. It tells me what the graph means. I know what that x axis is, I know what that axis is. So I am complete. That is what you'll be doing. Please see me if you need any help.